So I received the following question. Why is the part body in green? Or over here we see this will be in gray. And this can also appear in yellow. So this will be regarding the settings within Katia. So if you go up to tools, afterwards options. And over here within infrastructure, part infrastructure, we're gonna have the hybrid design over here. And we see that within your version, by default, this will be activated. So we see that this will enable hybrid design inside part bodies and bodies. And this will enable to mix wireframe, surfacic and solid design in part bodies. So all elements will be added within the same um, part. We can also choose when created, locate wireframe and surface elements, if they will be located within a body or we can add them within a geometrical set. We can also add manually a geometrical set at the top if we're going to go on insert. And we can also enable hybrid design for parameters and relation inside part bodies and bodies. So we can also check this and afterwards we can do additional links over here. And we can set various parameters like that. So if I will disable enable hybrid design, this will be the active part which is currently part two. If I will click OK, we're going to see that now those will turn yellow. So regarding that, uh, the color of that, let's take a look. So we see over here that this a new feature that was released in um, R14 or maybe R R15 as we can see over here. So this has been implemented within Katia for a long time. And we see that if your part body icon is green, it means your current part is the same as your current tool settings. You have a non-hybrid part and hybrid design is not enabled. Or you have a hy hybrid part and also you have that hybrid design enabled. And as we can see over here, for a yellow part body, this means you have a hybrid part, but hybrid design is not enabled. So that was my case over here because this part, when I created it, I also had um, the hybrid design enabled and afterwards when I deactivated that the part will still have those uh, hybrid design assets. So if I will click OK those will again turn green. If you're going to take a look over here there's also the gray symbol. This means you have a non-hybrid part but hybrid design is enabled. So as you can see over here I have a new part. In this case, those will be in gray, and that will be the following color. There is also some additional settings over here, as we can see over here on 3D CAD forums. We see over here, so the question was, what is the meaning of the attach icon? This is the icon for the part infrastructure for an additional part body. And for example, the green and blue gears. If you're going to take a look within Katia, we have the original part over here. And afterwards, we're going to have, if I will just insert new bodies, they will have that plus and we're going to have that blue gear over here. Even over here where I'm within gray, if I will insert a new body, we're going to see that now the new part body will be with green. That is because I have enabled over here hybrid design. So if you're going to take a look over here, so a sim single green gear, this represents the primary body of a part. So if I will go over here, file, new, if I will create a new part, you will also receive this notification over here. So enable hybrid design, you can define to have this check or not. As we can see, the hybrid design will, um, this is the following um, so working in a hybrid design environment means that you can create wireframe and surface features within the same body. For more information, please refer to the part design user guide. So if I will disable that, I will create a new part. You're going to see that the new part will be like this. So this will be with green. But even though if I didn't select the hybrid design, I will enable the hybrid design for this one. This, in this case, will turn 
gray over here. But if I will create a new part, so let's just create a new part, and I enable that hybrid design, we're going to have that, and if I will disable this, this will now turn yellow. So we see the same, uh, like the same workflow like previously. Also, we see that green and blue gears, this will represent secondary body of a part, and that small plus sign indicates a positive body. As we can see, this body can be deleted, as this is not the primary uh, part body. So when you are working within part design, you can make use of multiple bodies within the same part. Keep in mind that the main one will not be uh, deletable, but the others will be. So we can easily delete those. The main advantage of using multi-body within the same part is to organize your surfaces, for example, your parts. And uh, it will be a lot easier since you're going to remain within the same part, but you're going to have this subdivision over here. We can also add geometrical sets over here. We can name them. So wireframe, and this will be nested under part 4. Or we can nest this directly under secondary body over here. So if I will just nest this geometrical set over here, we're going to see that. And if I will add a new geometrical set, let's say wireframe N, we're going to see that those will be nested under body 2 over here. So we see that yellow gear, so this indicates that the body contains hybrid features, solid and surface, but the options are set for non-hybrid mode. And we're also going to have the silver, so in this case this is called silver, over here it was called grey. Um, so, as we saw, in this case if I will um, disable those, I think those will be converted to grey. So let's see, tools, options, enable, okay, so those were on the case, but I have over here open a file, and we're going to see the part body over here will be in grey. So that means that this part, when it was created, it didn't have hybrid design enabled. So this was an overview regarding various colors within the part infrastructure for part design. Within a following video, I will address geometrical sets and how we can also link those. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of content. I will position a similar video over here on the left side and the subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.